What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball. And in today's video, we're gonna go over some of the top NBA finishing moves. Matter of fact, we're gonna go over six of them to help you finish at the rim. Let's get started. All right, y'all, today's video is designed to give you six different finishing moves at the rim that you can use. Now, some may be basic, and some are gonna have some sauce. Now, the good thing is, you're gonna be able to work on different types of finishes, whether it's easy, whether it's complex, but this is gonna help you score more, have more variety of finishes at the basket, and be a proficient scorer in the paint. That's what you're trying to do. These are easy types of points to get. Anytime you're at the rim, you gotta be able to finish the basketball. And these moves that you're gonna see today will help you do just that. Now the first one we're going to do, we're gonna dive right into it. We're gonna go with an up and under. Now, with this move, I'm not, I'm gonna attack here from the top, slide over a little bit to the lane line extended. So I'm right here at the top. So when you work on this, you're gonna do it back and forth, alternating sides. So as I attack the basket, I'm getting in this area. Boom, I'm coming up, I'm attacking here, uh-uh and I'm flipping to the other side. I love watching Kyrie Irving do this because this is one of the best finishes that he uses. He's one of the top finishers in the, one of the top finishers in the game because of his ability to use different types of finishes. This is, happens to be one of his best ones that he has. So, when you attack the basket like this, you don't even have to be an explosive athlete. You don't have to be somebody like a Russell Westbrook who jumps out of the gym and can do all types of things in the air. You just have to know when to use it and how to use it. So as I'm attacking, I've gotten by my defender up top. And now I'm seeing this shot blocker come over. Now the best thing that I, that I see from Kyrie Irving is his ability to activate the shot blocker by coming to the basket, showing that ball high as if he's about to finish a layup, and then he just drops it down underneath and finishes on the other side. So as he attacks, he gets here, shot blocker comes, he might mess with him, show the ball up high, bring it back down low, and spin it off to the other side and finish. This is an excellent type of move to use, but you have to be able to read the defense and make sure you're using it correctly at the right moments and times in the game. Practice it, get comfortable with it, because it can be challenging at first, figuring out how to put the right spin on the ball, figuring out these different types of things. So when you're putting the ball on the backboard, you want to make sure, if I'm finishing on the right side, so if I'm going to the left to the right, I've got to spin that ball so my thumb comes in towards the basket. So I'm here, and now watch it spin off the backboard. Boom, right in. Same thing, if I'm coming this way and i got to get it to the left, I've got to be able to spin it back and in. So you've got to figure out how to do these certain things in order to make sure the ball is going in at a high percentage. So this first move is an up and under. Check it out in full speed. All right guys, with this next move, one of the more popular and upcoming moves lately is peanut butter jelly time. We're going with the jelly finish. Now this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna again alternate sides back and forth. So after I shoot on this side, get my rebound, go to that side, come back, go to this side. Rebound, go to that side. All right, so now I'm not, I'm not too concerned with which hand you wanna finish with when doing the jelly layup. If you wanna work on your weak hand, that's fine. If you wanna just strictly work on your dominant hand, do so. So as I attack here and I get inside, if you don't know what the jelly layup is, it's a regular basic layup with some flair. All right, so now when I go up here, I want to act as if I'm about to cock it back and dunk on the defender. So I'm jumping, I take off, I cock back on him, and then I'm going to turn the ball and finish. So I go here, I can finish on this side, or I can get to the reverse. So now, seeing it at this other angle, I'd attack my defender, shot blocker comes, or I would even suggest doing it when nobody's in front of you, where you can just really just add some flair and get real fancy with it. Get here, again, you wanna cock that ball back like you're about to dunk it. So you've got that ball here, palm facing towards the basket. Now when you go to finish, you're gonna flip that ball so it's almost like a finger roll, okay? So you get here, boom, get to this side of the basket, turn it and score. Use the backboard if you can. 
gives you a better percentage to score. All right, so this is the second move of six, the jelly layup, peanut butter jelly time. Check it out in full speed. All right, y'all, we are going to move on to the third move, and we are working on floaters off of one and two feet. One of the best moves that you can use around the basket to score over the top of a shot blocker or a taller defender. So with two feet on the floater, now with this drill, you can work on it at all five spots on the court, both of the corners, both of the wings, and the top, so you're getting all angles on the floor. Now with a two-footed floater, you have more balance, you have more power, you can be more explosive. So when you're here, you want to make sure that when you shoot that floater, you shoot it on the way up. You don't want to get here, hang, and then shoot it on the way down. That's more challenging. It's actually one of the things that I try to do when I use my floater. Now, if I go off of one foot, I've got to be in control. So if I go off of one foot in here, I've got to make sure that I don't go forward because if I go forward, I could run over the defensive player, get an offensive foul. If I use the one foot floater, I've got to do it a little further out. So if I do go forward, I won't hit that defender. So if I was going to go with that one foot floater closer in, I've got to make sure I pop straight up and straight down and shoot that ball on the way up to give it a good chance to go in. Now, this is the third move of six. We're halfway there. Check out the floater off of one and two feet in full speed. All right, we're on move number four now, and we were working on the step through. A guy like Giannis Antetokounmpo, who's very long, who can stride over the top of the defense. Anybody who's strong with hands, like James Harden, when they walk through or drive through the defenders, they're strong with the ball, they're able to cup it, be strong and score. So with this move, I'm gonna attack from the wing area. Now, when I attack, let's just say there's a defender, for the sake of this drill, I want you to imagine this. You have an offensive player in the corner, you're driving from the wing, and you have somebody in this position on defense. So you've got a number one, you've got your defender on your hip, and you've got to worry about this help defender. So as I drive, I'm getting past my defender, my defender's on my hip. Now I've got to worry about this defender. So when I get in here, I'm going to swing that ball up and over. So I'm here, I avoid this defender that's trying to help, I go up and over with the step through, and I finish. So it's almost like a Euro step with your footwork, but not quite. I'm driving hard. Here he comes. Ah, boom, boom. Easy finish. So when you go up and over, this allows you to increase your strides. Try to take long steps. So when you go over the top, you go boom, one long step, two long step, and you finish because that'll allow you to avoid that corner defender and the man guarding you. So the fourth move of six is to step through. Check it out in full speed. Number five, we are going to do a 360 finish. For you out there, for those of you out there that do not know what a 360 is, that means it is a full spin. All right, so imagine doing that and putting the ball in the basket. So as I attack, maybe I'm in transition. There's a defender thing, he's about to take a charge on me. Oh, I'm coming at you. Here I come. Oh, spin right off and finish. Now, you can go over your left shoulder. I want to spin over that left shoulder, I go here, boom, and finish. If I want to spin over that right shoulder, I just go the opposite direction and score. So get comfortable and focus on doing each one, okay? Make sure each rep you're switching off, going from your left shoulder to your right. Work on all five spots. This is an excellent move if you really focus on it. If you can put it practice in, if you can get in there and you can do this consistently, this can help, but it takes time. Trust me, the 360, isn't easy. It takes time, it takes that practice, it takes the concentration to be able to spin full in a 360 form and then put the ball in the basket without worrying about that defender. All right, so this is just a little extra sauce, all right? We're talking about 360, that means we're getting a little saucy and the next one's gonna be some saucy stuff too. So we are move number five, let's get through that. Check out this move in full speed.
told you the six move gonna have some sauce and it's actually gonna be the sauciest of them all. So if you got some hot sauce, some mild sauce, and some not so mild sauce, we're going with the super hot sauce. And this is the shake and bake. With a name like the shake and bake, you know it's saucy. So what the sauce is going to look like, we're over here. We're going to attack from the wing. This is Jamal Crawford's move. We're going to attack. We see our defender in front of us. Now the first part, we're going with a behind the back. Boom. Get our defender to lean one way. Second part, we're swinging it back around our back. So we're here. Boom. Boom. Okay, so notice how I changed direction. On the first one, I hop to the side. The second one, I'm gonna hop back, right? So it's not really a hop, it's just like a shuffle of the feet. So you're here, boom, boom, pick it up, score. Shake and bake, man, that's a name for you. So you know it's got some sauce. I keep saying the word sauce, but this is some sauce. All right, extra sauce, so extra sauce, whatever. We attack, ah, here we go, boom, boom. Easy game, right? Great move to use in transition. Break your defender down, make him look like a fool, and finish the basket. Now, what we say is if you miss it on a move like this, it's a million dollar move with a five dollar finish. We want a million dollar move with a million dollar finish. Check out the final move of six, the shake and bake, extra sauce in full speed. All right, Hoopers, well, there you go. There's six different moves to help you score around the basket. Now, if you enjoyed what you saw today, go ahead, click that subscribe button as we're releasing brand new videos every single week like this to help you improve your game. That's what we do at Think Pro Basketball. Provide the opportunity, the skills, the drills, and the knowledge to help you take your game to the next level. So click that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think and what you want to see in the future so we can continue to do our job by helping you improve your game. So make sure now you get out there, you hit the gym, you hit the court, you put the work in, work on these six moves so you can become a prolific scorer around the basket. And remember to always keep hooping. You thought the sauce was over though? Sauce ain't never over when you with Coach Allen. Sauce time. <laughs>